Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Olivia. Hi you all. Last week, I finished a picture in words of flower books, which is this goal. And a lot of people on Instagram ask me how I do the crack wall background. It is really simple. So I thought uh, I will do a little video for you guys showing you how you can achieve this simple effect and I will also show you how you can do this sort of a little bit differently as well so there's are two way of do crack walls and I hope you will enjoy um, this tutorial today so this one is words of flower it's a little sneak peek as you can see the flower in here but zoom it in you will notice that I cover the black lines of the flowers and I was still experimenting on them but I think I got it hopefully I will get a video out as soon as possible for you guys of how you cover the light art in coloring book and make it look like painting so just stay tuned for that um, now with further ado, let's start our tutorial. The book I will use for this tutorial is Summer Night and I choose this one because you know the page obviously is smaller size than Junhanna Basford book and so if you want to practice it will be a little bit easier for you and quicker to do so you don't feel so intimidated by the big size of the paper and I will use my watercolor this is again Satambi Kuritake watercolor but you don't have to use this watercolor you can use your intents you can also use Neo2 color if you have some or any sort of watercolor base pencil or crayon that you already have um, you can also use pastel but I will recommend for this background you use watercolor because it will give you a different effect than the soft pastel but if you don't have watercolor and you don't feel confident using watercolor you can absolutely use soft pastel or any sort of medium that you feel comfortable to just put a base layer color down for our background okay so there's a two type of crack wall. I usually use um, real reference to try to get an idea in my coloring. And the first type that you usually see is the one that I did in the Walls of Flower book, which is like not a big crack. So this sort of like the crack that you usually you can find in like an old house. Or you know like a really damaged wall and you can see that crack quite a bit but the crack side is very you know they just lies like random lies there's another type so that's what we're gonna do today and we also do another type of crack wall a little bit like this one so you can see it's sort of crack and then the, the outer layer of the wall peel off and show the uh, the bricks inside so it look quite hard but it's not and uh, I will also show you how you can do this and if you are not confident to do them in your coloring book yet uh, if you watch my last tutorial on how to do the ocean waves you will see that I use the Johanna Basford calendar card to test out my color techniques and also the you know color combinations because you have 300, 360 cards and obviously you won't have time to color them every day and if it just sit in your drawer and go away why don't you use them to practice or you can use any other you know coloring book that you you buy cheap or you don't care that it get ruined and um, you can practice on because this one you uh, obviously you need to hand draw the crack on okay um, so let's zoom it out and we do 
the background first so for this one scene is a box I'm not sure what color we're gonna do for this one I think I might do a sort of blue I think I will do um, red with watercolor it's important that you sort of activate the the color before if, if you're gonna use like the color in the paint like this uh, it's important to get out your water bottle um, or the water bottle spray so you can just spray um, on the water on top of the color of, um, of the color so it sort of like soften the color and activate them before you go in this one is a pump I got a like a really small bottle from um, probably this is uh, we call it Daiso Daiso or Kawaii shop which is a Japanese uh, wanderlust store here in um, Australia uh, but I'm pretty sure you can get pretty similar bottle in uh, maybe a dollar store dollar tree or anywhere you will see a few of other people will use a spray bottle like a perfume spray bottle but I found that sometimes it's hard for me to control the amount of water come out like sometimes I just want to use one or two color and I don't want to wet all the color but the spray is quite a um, it's bright into other colors as well so I use a pump and I just pump one drop in w which color that I decide to use um, and I just let it sit a little bit so this is a um, Pentel watercolor brush uh, I use this one because I just you know I used to use them and um, for color book I don't wanna use my good watercolor it's mean you have to get a few um, bottle of water to just wash out your brush and stuff so here I have a little palette of watercolor of course it's have acrylic on them yeah um, a little bit messy but this is not the palette for when I um, do uh, my you know my own art so I don't really uh, care that much so I think we're gonna use this sort of um you know pink color a very light wash and um later if you like you can go back with more mm, let's try this one this one is a little bit red uh, i don't mind it yeah i think we can use this one as well so if you're gonna use your watercolor and you are new to them make sure uh, you practice a few times and you can get a good control of you know the color you use so make sure you have like tissue or um, you know a um, a towel usually I have a towel but I couldn't find where it is today so hmm do you see that color very nice huh oh so these are all the color I'm gonna use today uh, you are welcome to use other color or any color for your crack wars you know you don't have to use exactly what I use so let's start you can also color in the whole background with pencil but I, I felt that with if you do the background in color pencil it build up the wax so you won't able to put more the detail on top of your base color uh, with another color pencil even with the black it's still not gonna be opaque so I found that watercolor is the best way to do with this background and it's really quick uh, or you can use soft pencils as you know color pencil behave really well on top of the soft pencil um, so uh, stop talking and let's do this 
work right shall we just gonna add a few more add plenty I'll add plenty of color of water on my plate and I just pick a little bit of red on here I know it's look intimidating and I put a piece of paper underneath of the page you're working on just in case it split through other page but I doubt it will bleed through so I'll just quickly do what you do instead of go into round circle um, you can go round circle if you want to but I felt that for this type of um, you know color uh, I felt that if you go sort of vertical line let's say on from the top down So you just sort of like drag it down like that. I know it look like a mess now, but it will look better um, as soon as you finish it. Any background when you do is always look scary at the start, you know, seeing um, you don't know what it look like. Uh, but trust me, it will it will look better as soon as you add you know textures and extra stuff it will look okay so don't worry and sometimes you just need to like have fun with it experiment with it you know you can't just if you scare you will ever get um, better so you just have to go in confident <laughs> and I'll just drag the words out let's say because in coloring book obviously the paper wasn't do wasn't used for um, watercolor you weren't able to get a completely flat wash um, I tried to but 
you know if you cannot make it completely one flat color you know like it have sort of texture then don't worry don't worry about it so yeah just go a bit light if you want to get it dark enough uh, just wait for the top color the water to dry and then you can go back with more color I think it looks really good so far. Now I go in with a little bit of pink. So if you're gonna use um if you're gonna use the neo neo to color just make sure you put the color down first. A few people ask me when I do a page, um, did I do the the background first or did I do um, or I do the um, you know the coloring, the actual coloring first, and. Um, Sometimes I do the background first if I'm not sure what the object I will do, what what color for the the actual drawing that I gonna do. But sometimes I I like to uh, to do the the drawing first if I know exactly what I need to do. So. Um, I don't have a uh, a certain way of doing a coloring page. Make sure when you go in with your brush, you don't rub it too hard because if you rub it too hard, um, it will peel. It will peel off your paper. All right. So I clean my brush, and I will let this dry. Uh, don't worry if you accidentally color uh, over the lines of some of the artwork because pencil will go on top of the watercolor and uh, because this bead I'm gonna do it black and white since it is legs but if you're gonna do something glowy or bright color so make sure you, uh, you use a smaller brush and uh, just be a little bit careful and now I will, um, as you see, it's wrinkly because of the water. You see, it's quite wrinkly. It's not too bad. I will mind it, but if you look, you look at the back, it's very, very, uh, not as wrinkly as I thought it would, but yeah, it's still a bit wrinkly. So I want to fold it a little bit dry, and I will put two pieces of paper, one on top and one underneath. And I will run very low heat iron through it and make it flat. So now um, our page is already dry, and I run through the iron um, over the page already. And if you, as you can see, it flattened up quite a bit. It's it's not as you see it's not as crinkly. So I don't mind this uh, too bad. It's a little bit still crinkly, but it's not too bad. Um, by the time you you fold the book and you leave it in the shell, it will flatten out some more. So don't worry. And as you can see, a very texture looking page, and that's what I like. But if you like more smoother, um, I'm not sure how you achieve that with watercolor. Um, usually you have to add more water, but it will crumble your page really quickly and I want my a little bit texture a little bit texture make your page look really interesting um, so don't worry much about it so, so now we're gonna draw the cracks and if this is your first time doing the cracks and you are worried you're gonna mess them up uh, I recommend you use the any pencil will do but I use a H range because um, the higher H you have, the lighter pencil will go down your paper. And 
it won't show through as much and then later when you put the color watercolors on then you can go through over them with color pencil but if you not sketch out first and you go you already done the watercolor and you put on your pencil now uh, you won't be able to rub it out because I um, I already do it a few times so I sort of know uh, what I'm doing but since you watch me you I'm pretty sure you will know okay so I like to use Prismacolor on top of my watercolor, but you can also use uh, your polychrome as, more as well. So I'm going to use a uh, Prismacolor 1058. This is a 90% warm gray. And um, if you're going to use polychrome more, you're going to use the cold gray number 6. If you buy a small set, of colors and you don't have any warm gray or cold gray or any gray you can use your black and it's just as good um, sharpen your pencil it's sort of random like like connect to each other because if you get one you know like in real life if you work get one crack on your work it will create another crack from that crack if you understand what I mean um, so what you do just practice on your paper first so you you not do a a straight line but you do a wiggly lines like that but as you can see if the in the uh, the white one we do these sort of edges a little bit rounder this one we do a little bit um more more sharp it's not like Poetry sharp like that because then it's a little bit unnatural. Uh, but if you 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 we can put a few in so it's just make a contrast. So you're gonna do a line like so. Uh, you do you will do random of this line a lot. So it look a little bit like that tree, that branch tree. So you just connect them, um, branch tree or uh, lining. So just do like that, okay? Uh, so we're gonna do in our page now. Are you ready? <laughs> Don't worry, it will turn out okay. This is easy. Don't worry. So let's start from down here. I always start from the bottom first. So I'll let's do this. So I will just use my pencil. See, it's go. A very pigmented and you can see it straight away so I do a little bit over there and maybe I do here if you have a hard time imagination where the crack go um, you can use reference uh, I guess you can you know look on Pinterest or somewhere and I'll go down here make so this bit here we're gonna make a little holes to like like the, the pen peels up and you see the the layer inside so we're gonna do it like that um, so you can do some long and some short now it look a little bit funny but later we will shade them so don't worry don't do too much over the page because uh, it will look quite busy if you do too much so I do around you know the hole there so you can see
Okay, so I think that's enough graph for this page. Uh, I don't want too much because when you do too much, it looks quite busy. So now you look at it, it doesn't look like anything. It just looks like little weird things. So now we're going to add texture with just the same pencil. You can go in and you see these um, where they connect with each other. You just darken it up. Just darken it up. So when you darken it up, it gives you impressions of those crack is a bit deeper than other crack. And you will have more dimensions now. So just go in a bit darker. It's not hard, isn't it? And it starts to look nicer too. You can go out a few light that you really really light. Just do really really light pencil, and it uh, it look pretty good in my opinion as well. See now it look a lot better, isn't it? With add, I think you need a little bit of patience. Um, just enjoying the process. Don't think the outcome is nice, but if your outcome is not as good as you wish, uh, at least you learn something from it, and you you won't you know make that mistake the next time. But you know, just enjoying it. Don't don't worry about making it good or. Yeah, of course you want to make it good, but don't don't worry too much about it because you not sell this ad. You don't sell to anyone. It's a form of therapy. So if you make it too too harsh for yourself, you feel lots of pressure.
So now I done darken up the cracks and stuff and as you can see we get something similar like this and I think it look pretty good. It doesn't take that long. I think it's about um, take about 15 minutes to you know join all the cracks so about 10 minutes I'm not really sure but now we're gonna do you know the brick inside these little holes that I left uh, if you don't like to add bricks in them you can absolutely do um, just color it in them black just like this one here but I will do look like this one and as you can see it looks very very effective isn't it and it's really easy to do so the combination I will use for these bricks and uh, I have two I have the combination from polychroma and the if you don't have polychroma you can use prismacolor and if you don't have prismacolor you can absolutely use polychromo i will use polychromo just as always so what we need is indian red venetian red terracotta cinnamon so for the prismacolor we have 1031 is henna 1032 pumpkin orange 1034 golden rod 1034 is golden rod and 939 is peach color so obviously they're not exactly the same as the polychromo but they are very very close and doesn't need to be exactly the same if you want to use any other combination you can absolutely uh, but for this page i will do this combination so let's do one down here this is the one that i left so you will need a um, ruler and I will just use my pencil, any pencil will do. Um, and you draw in the bricks. Yes. And you will decide how thick the bricks will be. Um, I think about this side is good. So I'm just going to do straight line in first. Okay. A very light and and you will do now the vertical vertical lines but don't do them you know straight like line up with each other I will do a little bit different you know so one here maybe one there and then I repeat just make sure you know you know the size of the bricks you want okay so as you can see I'll just mark it out like that and you are done with the sketch it's very easy it's nothing <laughs> fancy or hard so in the bricks if you notice they will not the same color of course the bricks is the same color at the step but by you know 10 pass they won't be the same color anymore so we're gonna do a few that is dark color and a few that is light color we will go in firstly with the Indian red go in with the Indian red and if you don't have Indian red go in with the 1031 right here you just gonna cover up your pencil line that you just draw in that's why you need to get in like very light so I'm gonna pick out a few that are gonna be dark. So I'm gonna do this one dark. I'm gonna just add this Indian red in and go over the line. Gonna add in, but then you know, um, because you use watercolor, it gives the paper a lot of tool to work with, so you don't need to press the pencil very hard at all you just go in sort of medium light pressure and you just color those in I will take that one bright light so you leave a little bit of white in the middle still 
I just do them all at one. I find this way a little bit easier because then you already mark out which one you want dark, which one you want light. It is, it's more dark. Yeah, okay. So we're done with that one. And now we're gonna go in with the Venetian red. You're just gonna add in, blend out that Indian red that you just put there, but still leave a little bit of white. So you can add in your last color. Okay, now you have that. You're gonna go in with the terracotta terracotta and you're just gonna blend that color in with all the one that you just did okay so we have all those now for this one because we're gonna do them light color so we're gonna go in with the Venetian red again and just pretty much the same process you're just gonna color it in, leave a little bit of white in the middle. Not white, but let like, don't color them all in. Because we already have the color base underneath. Not white no more, isn't it? Um, okay. So now we're gonna use a cinnamon. Cinnamon one. And you're just gonna add it in and it make it look like it brighter than other brick in here so it's give a little bit of variations so now you have that you can blend back in with the venetian red if you want to if you think it's too bright uh, let me blend it back a little bit because i do think it's a little bit bright okay so now you have that it looks pretty good, isn't it? But you will go in with your um, cold gray. You go in with your cold gray number six. If you don't have cold gray color, just use the Prisma color 1058, the one that you use for this crack itself. And what you're going to do, you will darken it up. You want to darken this crack up a little bit. Like so. Like that. You see how it taken up? It look a lot nicer because now it will pop out. Now, since you've done that one, you because it inside the the outer layer peel off right so the bricks will be inside of the wall so you're just gonna with the same cold gray you just use you just add a light layer go very very light use your light pressure and you're just gonna go around the edge of this you see And you will make the impressions of it inside of the walls instead of just like floating around. Okay, and now we are done. So you're gonna just do pretty much the same technique. Deal with the, all the little holes that you left.
say we already have that list uh, again it's gonna do the Indian Indian red right here oh maybe I will do the Prisma color so you can see um, it will just turn out as good so for the Prisma color you're gonna use uh, 1031 at the start this is henna so just gonna mark out where you want your brick is dark color So I think because it's so much tooth in this paper and your prisma is very buttery sometimes it make a little bit hard to color in because it will lose a lot of white spot whereas the polychromo because of it keeps the point better so it cover all the, the spot underneath now, at least that's what I think that's what I feel so I refer Drawing detail with Prismacolor and color over with Polygrammo. So now you have the henna gel. You go in with the 1032. This one a pumpkin orange. And you pretty much do the same thing. You just blush it in. Uh, when I do bridge my color, I use very, very light pressure. Because I don't want it too dark. I, I want this to blend in with the background, not pop two pops out and you still want your object in the middle is a uh, is the main object where the eye will look at it say so. so next we're gonna do one zero three four this one is golden rock and I just color them in look pretty good huh Okay, so now we're gonna do the lighter color. 1032, this one. I think this one is pumpkin orange. And so just color in where you let the brick supposed to be the brighter color. Okay, and now you go in with the 939. This is a peach color, and you just add it in and then make it pop straight away. And I think I'll go in with the 1031 again. This is Hannah. It's a little bit different than the polygrama, so the process will be a little tiny bit different. So now we're done with that. You're gonna use your um, this is ninety percent warm gray one zero five eight, and you just do add a little bit of this color in. It's very pigmented, so you don't add in too much. If you can tell, I don't add in like all the light. I would just pop it in here and there. Just make it a little bit pop, but you don't have to add all back in. 
so now you have that back in um, you're gonna do the shadow now just around very very light layer control your your pressure your hand pressure very very light layer Inside, just to make it look like it inside the brick the brick was inside this layer of walls of uh, the paint that peeled off and we are done so we are done with that one and it looks pretty good as well it just looks as good as the underneath one uh, the color is a little bit different obviously because there's two different types of pencil and and so now we're done with all the you know brick in the inside uh, you can go in with your gel pen your white gel pen i'll just use the um, you know the uni signal gel pen and any white gel pen would do and you just gonna go in a little bit just add in um you know a little bit of shy anything you like So this is how our background came out today and I'm really happy with it. I hope you enjoy spending time with me. I hope you find this tutorial helpful for your coloring. And I will see you very very soon in another video. Um, until then, uh, be healthy and having fun with your coloring. Bye!